<laughs> the holidays fucked us. <laughs> hey, my cousin Ian's watching. Hi, Ian. Cousin Ian, what you doing today for dinner? What? I'm sorry, Ian. <laughs> Sorry. So when uh, I was playing the podcast for Ian and my mom and my stepdad and his grandson, um, <laughs> Ian was convinced we were all high while doing this. No. <laughs> He's like, how could you not be high when you're doing this? Isn't that right, Ian? Oh, Chelsea says uh, hi to her cousin Ian. <laughs> Ian, this podcast is all about you now. Ian! It's all you! Ian. <clears throat> anyway. Boom goes the dynamite. It's explosive. Uh, this is your explosive episode of the Proud Jacuzzi Crew with lots of big bangs and... and Theories and... <laughs> bang zoom to the mood. <laughs> Alice. It kind of, oh, I get it now. Days. Okay, I get it now. Cup of sugar will get you to the moon or my fist. Oh, God. I will ah. beat you. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's an attack. <laughs> On Titan. Um, so this is the Proud Jacuzzi crew. We get together on these balmy ass fucking autumn ball evenings. Balm ass autumn ass balls. Oh, just bombs everywhere. These bombs. bomb autumn evenings. Exploding. Um, Who are you? To, uh, to record Would You Rather. What is it? It's a podcast <laughs> where we do Would You Rather. Where, oh. you, where do you come from? What's your what's your maiden name? Uh, Cotton Eyed Good Joe. No. Um, <laughs> Tell us your allergies. <laughs> Is that, a, is that a is that a conditions bracelet I see? Well, well, I <laughs> I like uh, making love at midnight and uh, getting caught in the rain. Whoa. I'm not into yoga, and I have half a brain. Oh, um, and my name's Dane. My oh, name, I did it. My name is Brian. My name's Jimmy. I don't have a song for it. <laughs> uh, you got a lot of songs, Jimmy. I got a lot like of Like about songs. cracking corn and people not Oh caring. yeah, I do have a cracking corn song. That's me. Yeah, fuck that song. It's not um, good. Anyway. Uh, I don't care. Yeah, uh, it's <laughs> fine. N- none of us care about it either, James. My song, Get it! My song is Cheeseburger in Paradise by Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> it's by, about by, Brian. By James Buffett. Buffett. James E. Buffett. Sir, Sir James... Blanisinski, Sir Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I, I really kind of do like Jimmy Buffett songs only because I was like raised on them. Uh, you know, well, you know, like nostalgic wise. Yeah. I don't like. Oh, I got to jam to some Buff right now. <laughs> I don't get my parrot head on. But you know, like, I don't know. I like Jimmy Buffett songs, but my uncle, who's in a rock band and has been for. A number of years. Yeah. Uh, they'll sometimes take requests. And he says that no matter what kind of venue or what set they've played, there's always one dude who's just like, Cheeseburger in Paradise! <laughs> Jimmy Buffett! Oh. I, oh I believe he usually tells that person to go to hell. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Your uncle's cool. <laughs> Actually, he is really cool. He's uh, the brother of um, my mom. <laughs> it, all, it all adds up. It all checks out. So I like the other universe where we're just really confused. Like, wait. Wait. What? Huh? <laughs> what? Who? So our first Would You Rather comes to us from Wade in Dartmouth, Wyoming. And Wade <laughs> asks, would you rather eat pizza with Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen? Oh. Or eat lasagna with Garfield. Oh. Garfield? And friends? No, just Garfield. Fucking dude. Come on, it's, it's time to party. Garfield. Where the fun never ends. Come on in, come to the place with Garfield and friends. It's time to party I, I... with Garfield and friends. Mark, Mark! And then U.S. Acres. Um, and then he says a fucking sweet zinger, and then the episode starts. Does he? He's like, doo 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 and then it goes, BOW! Again. Marriage is an outdated social institution. <laughs> BOW! <laughs> I actually 
really liked Garfield and Friends. It was good. And I actually really liked U.S. Acres. A lot of people didn't like it. I don't know what... Oh, I didn't like U.S. Acres. But I... Because it, it, was, it was taking away from valuable Garfield and Friends time. Nah. I, I loved Garfield so much as a, as a kid. So much. Yeah. And it only matches my, my utter disdain for him now. Just wow. Just, How far princes have fallen. Don't care for it. Just the don't prince care of for comic it. strips, that is. Mm. He really was the king of comics, wasn't he? No, that was Charles Schultz. <laughs> Peanuts Man? Yeah. I oh. No. I don't Ooh. know that his throne can ever be overtaken. Welcome to the Project Kuzi crew. We talk about comics uh from newspapers. Not just comics. That people read, but... Uh... Was the king of... Com- one of them was Cedric the Entertainer, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, he did. He, oh, R.I.P. He did. Cedric the Entertainer. Yeah, he was and... the one of the kings of comedy. Comics. I think we said comedy. Okay. Um, <laughs> but anyway... <laughs> I Back think, to the matter at hand. I think this episode of, of the podcast is the equivalent of when white people are like, let's take a silly one now. <laughs> uh, this is our silly episode. God. You know, because we've taken so many uh, episodes before this so episodes. seriously. Just really like, we need one for grandma. Let's, let's record a podcast for grandma. Podcast for grandma. Oh. In the future, that'll be a thing. <laughs> podcast for Grandma. Grandma That's Podcasts. Grandma. From the makers of. Okay, guys, can we just get one for Grandma, please? Can we just get <laughs> one podcast for Grandma, please? Where everybody is just sounding nice. <laughs> we, we won't talk about dicks this time, okay? Would you rather have cotton candy or candy apple? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! She needs to know when she takes you to the carnival. Um, <laughs> I don't like to get my face wet. <laughs> so I think that the question that begs to be answered now, mm-hmm. Mary Kate and Ashley at their prime, nine, eight or nine. Oh, y- yeah, the the height of their power, the height of their power, or Mary Kate and Ashley now, when they are not the height of their power, pseudo like phantasm people. Well, they're fashionistas now. Are they? Are, wait, are they? Aren't they? They they work in the mm. fashion industry. I, I thought, thought they were nothing. No, I thought they no, were no. nothing now. They, they're, they're still in it to win it. Mm. Just not with Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen branded fucking home to, to straight to video fucking <laughs> concepts. <laughs> they right. had a movie where a fucking a witch was trapped in a mirror and there was a little person Classic. and they walked to a house and he was like, oh, it's just a uh, perspective. It'll, it'll be a real house when we get up to it. And then it wasn't. How many times have you seen this film? Several Jimmy? times. <laughs> You've seen this movie a lot. I grew up on Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen straight to home video DV VHSs. <laughs> what does the DV stand for? Daily in- video. <laughs> it is the perfect combination of VHS and DVD. It's Definitely the future. The future. The children. <laughs> well, I'd like to think that this pizza is being eaten with the the Mary Kate and Ashley who used to be humans um, rather than the wraiths of today, (laughs) the fashion wraiths that just float from place to place and uh, eat food. I do. I don't even know if they'd eat pizza anymore. I don't know. I don't. Well, so they had, they they hit some hard time. One of them was on drugs, I think. Yeah. But But that doesn't mean that they don't eat. (laughs) That's true. But do they eat pizza? Well, they eat a pizza with whipped cream Fried chicken and the kitchen sink. And anchovies. Anchovies. Whipped cream falling like waterfalls. Like waterfalls. Oh, is it in real time? Yeah, it'd have to be in real time. We could, You couldn't eat a pizza in slow motion. Why not? Oh, that would be interminable. Well, if you're on drugs. <laughs> if you're on drugs. If you're on drugs. <laughs> so, yeah. if, if we're on drugs, then we can't eat it with the children. No. versions of them well i mean you could <laughs> no you shouldn't you shouldn't but you could <laughs> you're bad you're bad brian maybe bad brian yeah bad you're brian. you're being a bb right now yeah. bb you're being a bad bee, brian bee, bee, bee. bit of a b bit of a b that's me <laughs> don't, trust, it. don't trust the b in this corner of the hot tub <laughs> we are all in a hot tub right now we are all in a hot tub right now <laughs> anyway uh so 
Garfield. Yeah. And friends. Uh, no, just Garfield. <laughs> so and friends. Okay, so here's one one comparison I can think of right now. Okay, so with Mary Kate and Ashley, in what other iteration they're in, you're sharing the pizza. You're they're not hogging at all. They're right. not. Yeah, you, know, you guys you know, are eating pizza together. Yeah, We're, and like crazy toppings oh. aside, but Garfield. I see where you're going with this. All of that zanya for himself. He doesn't share. He's a fucking zanya hog. He is. He, it's all about the Garf. It's all about the Garf. Nom 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 nom. Number he's, one Garf. He's a Randy and hero. He's a libertarian. Yeah. At, 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 like the apotheosis of a he's libertarian. He's gonna get all up in that skirt and fucking take a look around. You know, I'm surprised. Who, who is John Galt? It's Garfield. Garfield <laughs> is John Galt. I'm surprised the libertarians haven't adopted Garfield as their mascot yeah. officially. Yeah. Um, you should be on their flag. Do they have flags? They should. they should have flags. <laughs> so I think we've decided two things here. One, Garfield needs to be their mascot, and two, they like, need to make flags. They like we do. Flags. Well, we got we got we got the elephant. We yeah. got the donkey. Yes. And we got the garf. The cat. The garf. We got the garf. We got the garf. We got we the garf. Got the garf. We got the garf. And of course, the Green Party would be normal. Uh, ah, yeah. Too cute. Yeah. What uh, party is Odie? Uh, <laughs> what's what's a vermin supreme's party <laughs> the guy who wears the boot on his head oh, oh God. yeah anyway i would uh, vote for that guy no you you Better raise a, you raise an excellent point about sharing and sharing alike yeah. um and garfield is just he's so mean yeah he would just be tearing you down while stuff in his face because he doesn't need to have like his mouth not be full to eat. Because he's psychic. Because he's psychic. <laughs> you'd be, mm, you'd be eating with this somewhat omnipotent psychic being. Yeah. Of pure just decadence just and decadence and malice and malice. Yeah. He would cause you to look deep within yourself more so than you already do. <laughs> Face the darkness within you and then say, oh, and you can't have any lasagna on top of that. By the way, kill yourself. By the way, <laughs> what would it matter anyway? I'm taking a nap. I've eaten all the lasagna. All oh, of wow. it. Wow. We got real dark there, guys. Lie down in the street and wait for a bus. <laughs> I'm Garfield. I'm Garfield. Kill me. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't because I'm eternal. Kill me, kill yourself. It makes no difference. Nothing <laughs> If I die anything. today, I'll be back in tomorrow's <laughs> trip. Life is a flat cur- circle, you see. Life is a flat lasagna. And we just keep <laughs> eating it, even though we're too full. And it's delicious. <laughs> it's so good. And I love it, but I hate it. I hate Mondays. <laughs> Specifically Mondays. Every day's a Monday. Even Every though he doesn't days. have a fucking job, Garfield. Every day is a Monday. Hate Mondays. You fucking unemployed fucking sack of shit. <laughs> you give it to that, Garfield, Jimmy. Fucking Monday. It sounds Garfield. like you have a lot of pent up stuff against Garfield. Yeah, you read him the riot act. I will. You d- he did. I heard him. Yeah. I heard I was right here yeah. the whole time. Let's recap. Okay. So first... <laughs> Jimmy hated Garfield. I don't hate Garfield, but fucking check your privilege, Garfield. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Orange privilege. Wow. Hashtag orange privilege. Yeah. Oh god. Wow. It's a presidential privilege. Hey oh. Yeah. Uh, Cheeto Hitler. Anyway. Um, so I'd like to to split the difference with this Mary Kate and Ashley generational oh, yeah. thing. That's also a thing which I would about. if we're if we're talking that Garfield is this uh quasi omnipotent deeply existential beast of <laughs> consumption why can't Mary Kate and Ashley be unstuck in time <laughs> and be all versions of themselves at once Sure. Why can't we have more than one flavor of existential horror? Yeah. Right. Okay. So Gar- Garfield is a sardonic monster from right. beyond time, time and space. Somewhat like Q from the Next Generation. Yeah. But far more uh, obese. And Mary Kate <laughs> and Mary Kate and Ashley are like sort of like multi-phase quantum beings where they're all ages all the time. Exactly. They're they're yeah. They're like exactly. they're like what's in the the wormhole. 
Right. All time is all the time. Yeah. It's all things <laughs> at once. That's how Star Trek was, and right? Therefore, and therefore, guys. Guys. You could have all toppings at once. Every, and, no, and no toppings at all. Or, and, but, with. Yes. No toppings. All right. At all. Important question to this. Yeah. Can my pizza be on a bagel so I can have it anytime and at all times? I think the answer is yes. It would have to be. It needs to be. Good. Because when pizza's on a bagel, you can have pizza anytime. Anytime. And at all times, as you said. Oh, that's heavy, Doc. (laughs) Gorsh. Gorsh. Um, (laughs) What? Anyway, uh... I think we've made our... I've made my decision. I, I don't want to speak for you fellows. I Yeah, pizza for me. It's pizza, right? It's I think it's got to be pizza, but I do want to hang out with not children. Yeah. To be fair. Well, that's the thing, is you are hanging out with not children. You're hanging out with all versions... All children. Not all children. <laughs> all versions of Mary-Kate and Ashley. They're... I'm every woman. It's all in me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> That's what they would open with. They'd be like, "Welcome." They're just to... the glowy Mr. Burns aliens. Like there's there's like a whipped cream falling like waterfalls behind <laughs> them, and they're just like, "We are every woman. <laughs> <laughs> Come to eat of our anytime pizza. Give me pizza. <laughs> pizza. Pizza. I like that they're just in slow motion, but everything else is fine. Right. They would be in slow motion. Yeah. I, also because they're trying to catch up with themselves. Yeah. No. Yeah. So, so pizza. Eh. Pizza. Yeah. Pizza. 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 We did it. It's pizza. 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 Um, uh, anyways, it's fucking Lonely Hearts. It's like jam it and slam fuck it. Fuck that Lonely Hearts. Fuck it in its behold. When we take one lost and lorn lover and jam them in the b-hole of another lost and lorn lover, and love happens like 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 on a battlefield, like Saint like Corum blooming out the b-hole. Um, love is a battlefield. This week on Lonely Hearts, we uh, are one. We are caught in a deadly game of cat and mouse. Heartache um, to heartache, we stand. I'm the Uh-oh. cat. Jimmy's the mouse. Mine is entitled, Classic Sitcom Love. Oh. In all honesty, grew up watching TV like the next person. I think they meant I grew up. (laughs) There was always a couple on the TV happy just being themselves. When I think of what I am looking for is a simple guy like the ones on TV. I would like to meet someone like all of them combined. Oh my god. When I think of the one from the past present I am looking for, I think of someone like Kevin James, John Goodman. Matt LeBlanc in his new TV show. The sexiest of the sexy. Yeah. He, I mean, he is. He's a good looking dude. Matt LeBlanc, maybe, but John Goodman and well, no, yeah. James? Well, John, no, John Goodman got thin. He's, he's good looking now. Jo- John Goodman in his sitcom days, though. Well, he, he's, he's a big, he was a big he's man. Big teddy bear. J- John Goodman, Roseanne era. Honestly, when I hear those three mentioned in the same breath, I just kind of average them out and I see a big fat Matt LeBlanc. <laughs> Right? Right? Continue. So, yeah, v- eminently fuckable. Yes. Um, so, You're she eminent. goes on. Just a laid back guy that's trying to get me dressed up to go out somewhere fancy I don't want to go. <laughs> Someone that's really into doing things when I have free time, unless it's really interesting. I don't know what she meant by that. Uh, when I think of a guy that's into sports, I want to replace that part of him with Will from Will and Grace because I don't want to watch it at all. <laughs> Wait, Will, or, Will and Grace or sports? hey <laughs> Don't give me that look. Uh, I don't want to watch it at all. I like to go out in nature and for walks. A simple man is what I want. If I did want to do something fancy, I would like to find a man that is willing to go along with me to things if I have to that knows how to behave. I want a man with nice manners that is a gentleman. You can just be you as long as you're clean. But you also have to do all the things that I want. <laughs> if things get serious, you okay? Yeah, I'm good. You okay, sweetie? Yeah, I'm great. You, you need your tummy rubbed? I choked on my own bile. 
It's gross. That's Hevel. That's he- Hevel. That's heavy. Hevel. You should get some some soda water and some some soda crackers. We'll cut that out. Soda cracker. I can't keep making that joke. Soda cracker. What are you talking about? It's the last episode. What are you talking about? Soda cracker. <laughs> Uh, if things get serious or if you're just dressed really bad and I don't like it if you must be willing to let me dress you <laughs> what, what? I'm sorry I've lost the whole entire thread of this like... if things get serious or if you just dress really bad and I don't like it you must be willing to let me dress you what the fuck? she's a control what? freak is I what's see. going on no she's just looking for a guy who's like from sitcoms that she can control like, like a guy from sitcoms like a Ken doll but from the Barbie sitcom she wants to selectively replace parts of you with like Will from Will and Grace zombie <sighs> Frankenstein I am looking for basic style not overboard when shoes and socks match with a jacket that's just a bit much for me what? and that's what she closes on <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> what a, what a so lo- she's not what looking a for a real human. human she's looking for a guy from like sitcoms uh. Just no. like the one that married dear old dad, mom. So she wants like, like a, a one-liner zinger after everything she says. And then and then he waits about ten seconds for the audience to laugh <laughs> every time. He's got a lot of like weird pauses in his speaking. Yeah. yeah. She's like, what's wrong with him? No, but she I knows what's wrong. I love him. But he's got a real, real sexy, sexy chub chub body like that fucking tight ass Kevin James. <laughs> <laughs> More cushion for the pushing, am I right? Yeah, I high five myself. I'm not above it. <laughs> All's fair. That was a good the, high five. Yeah, that was a really solid high five with yourself. Thank you. Thank you. All's fair in the tub. I know, Brian. I know just how I like it. All's fair in love and tubs. <laughs> uh, t- t- <laughs> love t- and tubs. Love and tubs. Back to John Goodman. Um, <laughs> J- Jimmy, to you. All right, so this one's going to start out, and you're going to think that I've done wrong. Okay. But just keep. keep well, Keep we're strapped up. in. All right. I put my jacuzzi seatbelt on. The title is Unusual Request. Oh, good. Uh, I'm going to explain this the best I can. Please read it all with an open mind. Winky, smiley face. Everything I'm saying is true. I'm divorced and 56 years old. Uh, six feet, 11 and... Wow. Uh, 175 pounds. I have a terminal condition... And I've been in the hospital four times this year. Oh, Jimmy, you've done wrong. I don't have cancer, but I have a huge mass in my left lung and two small ones in my right lung. It's not operable. I take 11 different antibiotics and steroids, but it continues to grow. I'm not in pain, but it has affected my breathing. At this point, I feel as if you've given us a bummer. Uh, But I'm strapped in. Wait, wait. Okay, I'm waiting. Wait. I'm waiting. We're going to... We're going we're gonna to continue. Give, give the kid a chance. Uh-huh. There seems to be nothing else the doctors can do for me. <clears throat> I have read several articles about this, oh, and it's God. something that makes sense if you think about it. Oh, God. It's, it's happening. <laughs> it's happening. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. Uh, <laughs> I, will, I will give you the information, and you can read it for yourself. Sounds crazy, I know. But here it is. Oh, God. Eating a woman's... <laughs> go, no, keep you going. Can't keep do going. It. You can't do it. <laughs> eating, eating a woman's vagina and swallowing her healthy hormones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. All right. All right, boys. All right, boys. Boys. <laughs> Let's just all take a deep breath here. Gentlemen, please. Oh my you god. You broke me. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh. You got to reread that cuz I don't know <laughs> I don't know if anyone could hear. Eating a woman's vagina and swallowing her healthy hormones will cure any disease. <laughs> <laughs> Cancer, tumors, and other things. Oh. Now, before you laugh, go to Google. <laughs> go to Google search box, is what he says. Uh. And type, can eating vagina cure cancer? <laughs> <laughs> Look at the countless, countless peer-reviewed articles. Guys, I, you both are monsters. I'm dying uh. and want to try this. Oh. <laughs> It's unusual that I'm asking for it, that I'm asking, but I'm totally honest about it. Winky face. I have children and grandchildren and love life, but my time is limited. Please read, in all caps, about it. 
Let me know your answer. You may save my life by doing it for me. Smiley winky face. If you won't, I understand. But please don't feel bad at me for asking. Winky smiley face, thank you. Please help. My HMO doesn't cover this. Doesn't cover conolingus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, oh man. Guys. We just need to go to Google search box. <laughs> Google search box. You guys are terrible. All You're making of fun of a I'm, desperate, dying man. I'm yeah. gonna fucking go out on a limb here oh. and suggest that maybe this guy is in perfect health. You know... There might be a chance. I mean, on the outside. Oh, no, you guys are too cynical. Thank oh. God nobody's ever lied on the internet before. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'm naive, but maybe I want to believe. Maybe I want to believe, boys. Oh my God. Oh my Lord. Oh, this guy. Oh, I kind of love my, him. My oh. favorite part about this particular lonely heart mm. is that I went on to fucking Craigslist uh, search box and <laughs> oh, Jesus. it was the very first one I clicked on today. Oh. And it was you like it? a gift from the fucking heavens. Oh. You won the fucking lottery. <laughs> You're talking about this, oh. this particular lonely heart yeah. on Craigslist. Yeah. The cream rises, man. Cream rises to the top Ooh, yeah. and into that guy's mouth. <laughs> His waiting oh, tongue. His so, waiting. Oh, I mean, I don't <laughs> pull up those healthy, disease-fighting hormones. <laughs> I do believe that he's as old as he says he is. Though. Probably, like, he's probably he says, not dying. I kind of buy that. If I he says that. Google search box. But his y- liberal use of winky face emojis and yeah. really inopportune winky face places. emojis and the fact that he says I'm not in pain. Yeah. So yeah. none of it shows, but yeah. it's not cancer, but it's something, you know. It's a mass. It's a mass quote. that isn't cancer. It's That's just cancer. medical enough mm. to m- give it credence, but it's not specific enough for anyone to know anything or ask any specific questions. It is yeah. an incredible tact to take to get a woman to sit on your face. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a lot honest, of work. Uh, to be quite honest, I've forgotten completely the first one. <laughs> it, I mean, compared to that, it's very forgettable. Yeah. <laughs> Oh God! Well, well, okay. Classic sitcom love. Classic sitcom. Oh, love. Yeah, yeah. Well, so it's it's a it was a that was a lady. To be fair, <laughs> in sitcoms that I can think of, uh, the male leads have all disdained going down on women. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's not. Yeah, this is this is not. This bodes well. Be, ill well. Ill this. well. <laughs> so she, if she wants real sitcom love. She wants a dude who hates eating girls out. Yeah, because that's that's icky gross. Because that's icky gross time. Icky gross time. Mm. Now, blowjobs, that's great once a year for their birthday. I, I knew a guy once who said he, would not, he would not go down on a girl. Mm. Uh, excuse me. And his reason was... Um, well, that cream had to rise to the top. Yes. Um, <laughs> and his reasoning was... That if a girl sucks a guy's dick, she's a dick mouth. Oh. But he didn't want to be a pussy face. <laughs> and I was like, what? what wow. Is, what are you talking about? That is deplorable. That, that is, is simply that is atrocious. Like, what does that mean? That is some critical thinking there. That's a unique line of logic. <laughs> wow. She's a dick mouth. Look at that dick mouth that over there. Look at dick mouth over there. Look at her boyfriend, that pussy face. <laughs> you can tell by the shape of his mouth he's had a pussy all of it. <laughs> <laughs> what a gay. <laughs> I bet if I smelled that rich, deep mustache, it would have pussy juice all inside it. Look how horribly disfigured he's been by that vagina. His face will never be the same. <laughs> It's just so soft and supple. So he doesn't have any illnesses. <laughs> so pussy mouth. <laughs> that pussy mouth is 100% it cured healthy. cured him of everything. <laughs> he'll, he'll live to be 110. <laughs> what years. kind of life is that? <laughs> when your mouth is all full of pussy. Time to take your medicine. <laughs> oh, poor baby. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to rain on this parade, guys, but I really don't think we found love tonight. 
Probably not. Probably not. Uh, the 60 year old man and uh, sitcom wanter are going to get along too well. Don't think so. Uh, but, I mean. I mean, it's like a sitcom. I mean, all right, pot, fucking riddle me this, though, guys, before we, before we write this off. Th- this lie is, is the perfect sitcom fucking episode. Oh, Jesus. It's like, My God. It doesn't get better Jimmy than this. Jimmy has a point, Brian. <laughs> it's sitcom y, but it's kind of. And then it's, it's more, like. It's more modern. It is they, very modern. Sitcom. He fucking puts this ad out. She responds. They go through a court a courting. Yeah. And then she finds out somehow by a medical bill that doesn't exist. <laughs> that which you would expect to find. <laughs> and then she's like, now wait just a gosh dang minute. And he's like, no, but like she's I've sitting been on his face as this conversation happens. And he's like, <laughs> okay. And then the and then the music goes <laughs> <"Bop, bop, bop." Uh-oh. laughs> Was that him talking through the vagina, Brian? I really put my foot uh, in my mouth. Ma- I well. should say, your vagina in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> credits roll. <laughs> this is sick. <laughs> yeah, so uh, no love. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the way every Lonely Heart should be concluded. <laughs> Oh my god. All right, let's go to a moral upright place known as Reddit. Ooh. And uh, oh. dip into their wells. <laughs> their deep, creamy wells. Um, this Would You Reddit was submitted by Wonderbones. Wonderbones! Wonderbone asks oh. Would you rather be fluent in every language on Earth or be able to play every instrument ever masterfully? Hmm. Every language, you said the first one? Yeah. Fluent in every language on earth. Hmm. Or be able to play every instrument ever masterfully. Oh, man. I don't know how to play any instrument at all. So that would be kind of nice I'd... just to experience. Hey, hey, Brian. What about the skin flute? Uh, and... Gotta bring it down. Gotta bring mm. this highfalutin one down. <laughs> So the skin, the, so the skin flute is it stopped a, you dead in your tracks. Does it cure cancer? So that no, I think it gives you cancer. It actually. gives you dick mouth. It gives you dick mouth, which is like cancer. Um, so so the skin flute's wing wang. Uh, what, would, <laughs> what would the musical instrument uh, v- version of the vagina be? Would that be like the flesh ocarina? Yeah. Would it okay. be like flesh harmonica? I was thinking what, harmonica. What actually, instrument yeah. has one button on it? Um, oh, that you blow into. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I mean, like I a, ocarina, you're covering holes with your fingers. <laughs> I think. I think ocarina or or harmonica is uh, is where this is going. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, don't blow into anyone's <laughs> vagina, folks. Don't blow into a don't vagina. Don't do that. They'll die. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, I mean, if why would they die? That's uh, really bad for a lady for right. somebody to do that. It's uh, kind of an urban myth that that, that it'll, like. You, you blow into a vagina and, like, it'll get an air bubble, like, in their bloodstream and give them an embolism. Really? That's the, that's the myth. I've never heard maybe, this maybe, before. Maybe, maybe it's not real. That's what I've heard. If you're a doctor a and listening to this, please write to us at the PJCcast at gmail.com. If you're a doctor and listening to this, what? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I think, obviously, that can't kill you, because if that was the case, then queefs would be fatal. Proof positive. That science is enough for me. <laughs> Brian, when you pass away <laughs> and I write your uh, what obituary, I'm going to include that quote <laughs> in your obituary. Because <laughs> uh, queefs would kill you. Uh, can, they, can we spell obituary B I T C H? That's my obituary. Obituary. <laughs> yes, Brian, whatever you want. When you're dead, whatever yeah. you want. It's my funeral. I could have what I want. I could spell obituary the way I want to. <laughs> I'm dead. Who the fuck cares? <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Queefing. Um, <laughs> so, are you saying that you'd rather play instruments because you don't play any of them, well, or because that... are you saying that you wouldn't care because you don't know what it's like? Well, it's. I mean, both, honestly. Like, Whoa. I've never been able, like, I've never really played an instrument. Like, uh-huh. besides, like, fucking 
tooting around on my dad's guitar like an, an idiot. Um, so are you saying you're blowing into it, trying to make a toot sound is, out of a guitar? Is that, is that not how you guitar? Because I wouldn't you, honestly don't know. Don't use your mouth. I wouldn't all. honestly know. <laughs> okay, so so don't do that. No. All right. You, you can pluck around. Should any should any of the guitar be inside my body? No, not, not at all. None of it. None of it. But it's got so many points. Maybe under your arm, like uh, under your arm. That's no. not in you. No, in That's, inside me. You're draped over it, like warm for my body. It should it should only be warm from your flank. No. Okay. See, well, I'm losing interest as we speak. <laughs> Good. Um. Yeah. Is this a war game? What? <laughs> lost track <laughs> it's been a long day for james <laughs> man i just you've I just, lost track several times i'm gonna be, I'm gonna be quite episode. honest with you i fucking zoned out for a sec thinking about how fucking awesome it would be to know every instrument and stop listening <laughs> <laughs> and then i heard a flank and i'm like that's a war thing <laughs> no. it's clearly what we're talking about i was talking about the side of your body oh so steaks no, Brian steak, Kinda, kind of like steak. Yeah, like that. <clears throat> Warm from Brian, his flank. Brian, if we cut a steak out of you, will you grow your meat back? I don't think so. Like a like a steak starfish. Yeah, a steak fish. I don't think I'm a steak fish, guys. <laughs> There's only one way to find. There's out. only one way. Oh. <laughs> Good thing we're in boiling hot water. I mean, you you are right. And sterile. Um, what about you, Jim? I fucking I don't give a fuck about talking to people i just want to fucking play music really god that'd be fucking amazing that's all i would do if i knew how to play every instrument i'd be so play every instrument i would just do it and make music all the time yeah that'd be amazing i I would love that so much but i don't know any instruments currently i i i was kind of like you said i've tooled around with a guitar that i used to own but no, i don't really he know. tooted around oh, with a guitar yeah, toot, 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 toot. Oh, he, toot, toot, he put his toot. mouth on it and blew into a guitar <laughs> just, like, like, just like a vagina just like, like you would a vagina <laughs> just like i would a vagina just like Jimi hendrix <laughs> just like Jimi hendrix that's how he died you know toot, toot, toot. <laughs> <laughs> he blew into his guitar too hard. Oh, God. <laughs> Something broke inside of him. Someday I want to be just like George Harrison. Toot, 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 toot. <laughs> well, then you'd need to learn to blow the sitar also. <laughs> These two are really God. similar. <laughs> toot, 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 toot. <laughs> You heathen. Um, well, as somebody who, who does play instruments um, and loves talking, this is a little tough for me. Um, but I would say there's ways around talking and there's nothing quite like playing an instrument with other people. Like, that's a different kind of conversation that's very unique. And, um, like, if, if two people don't know their language, they can talk through movement they can talk through uh you know like common languages that they may know or like little google bits and pieces google translate google translate <laughs> fucking you could communicate real good through having sex with somebody um there's a joke about french kissing here that would probably be really funny to tell <laughs> too bad you're not telling it yeah um but like instruments i don't speak, I don't speak french <laughs> Ooh la la mm. <laughs> <clears throat> but like instruments are are very unique in in this group activity that it's just uh it's pretty cool. Like I'm I'm not an avid musician by any means. Um but when you play music with people it's uh yeah, it's pretty cool. So I <laughs> so eloquent. So that so that Obviously, I'm a good talker, man. So that's great <laughs> and everything. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a valid valid point. But Dave, you're missing the greater point. <laughs> All that of pussy you get? <laughs> no, of not having to play music with anyone. Because you know every instrument. Yeah, but... Uh, Jimmy. <laughs> For the fucking socially... <laughs> Awkward inept in us all <laughs> jimmy are you saying you'd just become a hermit and go play music for yourself no but i could i wouldn't i wouldn't i wouldn't have to rely on anyone i guess not but you god damn. i'd just be like you know what this section needs some fucking pan flute and i rip that shit <laughs> off the wall because i guess i own one i, I do, do a little on my wall a little 
You want what? me to get the pan flute? Because I'm going to get one. I don't have... I can't... <laughs> Are you I guys, would love this magic. Are you guys suggesting you play a, the pan flute like a guitar? <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. That's, that's con- weird. It's kind of confusing. Yeah, that's how you play it. Okay. Yeah. Right. You blow right into it. Like a guitar. <laughs> I don't get it. I guess. It kind of makes sense. So, I mean, I'm going to choose... <laughs> I'm going to choose instruments... <laughs> because uh, because then whenever music occurs, I'd be able to participate in it in whatever. Anytime there's just an what? errant piano, you're like, crack your knuckles. Yeah. I got this. Yeah. Or or even if you don't have an instrument on you, there's the um, skin flute. There's the skin <laughs> flute. You can just Masterful. buckle down. You can buckle down and just start blowing. <laughs> Uh, in time toot on that mother <laughs> uh no i was gonna say like bobby mcferrin's uh ham bone where you just kind of use your own body and, ham like, bone that's what it's called where you pat on yourself and you use your uh, thank you yes all of that or if you had a jacuzzi with you, you'd be able to play the jacuzzi real good splish <laughs> splash, splash. that was the water and not my leg um jimmy <laughs> i think we've Pretty much nailed down. No, what I think you'd... I'm gonna go with languages. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you just hold yourself up in a cabin somewhere and just play your all I'd, instruments. I'd, I'd, I'd fucking make. I don't know. It'd just be awesome because I could it just, would. I would. I would like all I would need to worry about is composing. <laughs> I wouldn't have to worry about. Well, composing's a little different. Than... It's a lot different, but that's all. That's all I'd have to worry about. Yeah. Okay. Like I would love to make music now, but I don't have. it. The skill sets. The skills. So I have to, to sort of rely bills. on other digital means to yeah. get anything that I want done, done. And that's difficult. Beep, boop, boop. Beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, 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 The instrument of a computer. Of a computer. I'm cheating. Now, Brian, you were on the fence. <laughs> yeah. Jump well, off the fence. So I think I'm actually, gonna, I'm actually going to pick uh, language. And I, oh. I think it's because... Um, yeah, I think it would be great to be able to converse with a world full of people, and I, I think that reading a translation, uh, you lose a lot, actually. Yeah, there's like, nuance that's lost. There, there are nuances that are intrinsic to given languages, um, and those aren't necessarily conveyed in a translation. Um, whereas, like somebody who has a fluency in that in that language gets all of the layers of depth. It's almost like True. being able to see like colors that are, uh, other people aren't inca- capable of. The cones, the eye cones. <clears throat> And I, I think that's a very beautiful and very interesting. Um, also, to know all the curses. <laughs> all you just want to... Every goddamn one of them. <laughs> e2 Mama Tambi. Just rip it up. Just really just get creative with just yeah. mixing it all together. Yeah. And, Would you and, know dead languages too? Yeah. Every language on Earth. Yeah, baby. If yeah, it dude. exists on Earth... Then it's it's yours to really, behold. Really great awesome. Babylonian curses. Five. curses. Five different languages. That's what that means. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's my favorite language, Babylon Five. Oh, oh yeah. you! Oh god, oh, Mister Garibaldi, mm-hmm. sir! I did it. I'm I throwing actually, up in the tub right now. I'm I doing actually, it. I actually <gasps> really love Babylon 5. I know you do, yeah. you weirdo. Anyway. It's weird that they started on the fifth one. Anyways. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? It's like it's like, uh, it's like Leonard Part 6. <laughs> Somehow that joke was too much for Dane. He's fucking lost it over there. It's getting. It's really late here in any time you USA. <laughs> Some of us are really burning the candle at both ends. <laughs> started the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're going immediately into Mary Fuck Kill. We're all done, right? Yeah, we we're all done. did it. We're done. All right, we're cool. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. keeping the silly train rolling with <laughs> may, perhaps the dumbest Mary Fuck Kill I've ever fucking come up with. Ooh, that's oh, tall order. God. All right, <laughs> our three contestants. For Mary Fuck Kill are Lox, the smoked salmon. Oh. Uh, Lox, like a padlock. Oh. And Lox, like the Ness monster. Uh. So. So. <laughs> so. 
<laughs> so just to clarify, a, a lock, a lock, and the last one is a body of water. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's not okay. how that works. That's okay, not how any of this works. No, I mean it makes sense. Locks of hair, maybe. Like, <laughs> Locks, lo- yeah. I mean, oh. the, the very, like all of them, I guess. Sure. Jesus, but locks? <laughs> I think I bust a brain vessel. I think there's, I have internal bleeding in my head right now. Between laughter and that piece of garbage that you just said? Jesus I Christ. Go! <laughs> I can't! I'm uh. broken. My brain broke. Babylon 5, the fifth <laughs> one, and locks the monster. So I would marry Babylon 5. <laughs> you would. Uh, five I'd also fortune. fuck Babylon 5. <laughs> and then I kill Babylon 5 because I love it too much. Oh, I'm nobody crying. Else, nobody else can have it. No, I just want it all for myself. All five of them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Political intrigue in space. I love it. <laughs> Babylon 5 was a dream given form. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're making a thrusting motion that makes me uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, locks the salmon. Salmon is a real hard flavor to get rid of. It's the best flavor. I mean, it's a good flavor, tasting. but like, yeah. it's it's always, I've always been put off by it because it's so overpowering. Locks that lock things in cold, <laughs> hard, calculating, exacting, unforgiving. Purposeful. Purposeful. Useful. Hmm. These are all words. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> thank, thank you. Locks, as in the monster, doesn't no, make any goddamn it's, sense! It's, it's the, it's the not, place. It's not, it's not the monster. It's not the monster. It's, it's, oh. it's, bodies of, it's a certain type of body of water. Okay. It's where... Lakes. Well, We're talking no, about no, lakes. No, no, it's the lock... Well, no, that, Loch Ness. That's Loch Ness, but you said locks. Oh, is, is that a thing that is? L- locks are like, just the Gaelic a... for a lake. Oh, well then, it, you a may, ga- do your research, Mister Jim. An Irish lake. I didn't know. I thought I Irish... thought the Loch Ness was the name of the lake. any Irish lake. Any lake in Ireland. So that's is o- a lock. only Ireland lakes, then. Right. Okay. But all of them. I thought Ness was <laughs> no, no, no. Is it Scottish? I thought it was Scottish. Scottish lakes. Oh yeah. Any oh, we're lake. racist. We'll cut that out. <laughs> Any lake in Scotland. Scotland. Aye. With the haggis. And it's cold. <laughs> yep. And there's probably mist. Uh, lock. <laughs> and lock. A lake. An arm. <laughs> a lake. <laughs> it's a, yeah, a lake. Lock. Um, lock. Yeah. A lake. A lake. And Scottish lake. Is it Scottish though? <laughs> it is. Scottish. I mean, we can infer that we can we can imply that it's, it is. Lock is the Irish and Scottish Gaelic word for a lake. Oh, both. Yeah, we're so, yeah not wrong on both accounts, but a, also kind of wrong on a, both accounts. Kind of, a, yeah. So a, the Irish and Scottish people don't get angry at us. I won't. All of our many fans. Oh, lock. So, so Irish wet, and Scottish cold, lakes. Beautiful. Yeah. They're great. Shrouded in mystery. Yeah. Sometimes. Um, ancient. Definitely a monster in one of them. Definitely. Uh, misty. Misty. Castles. Eldritch. Eldritch? Words. Um, Haunting. You're welcome for this, just by the way. You asshole. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> so we got fish. So I'd marry the food. Okay. Because I love it. You do. It's my, I love lox. Lox. Yeah. It's too expensive to buy normally. Regularly. But lox... On bagels with capers and cream cheese is one of my favorite fucking fatty, fat, fat foods. At, at TJ's is not so expensive, but... Eh. I mean, expe- it's like expensive enough for for a couple fucking... For what you get. You heard yeah. it here yeah. first, folks. Get your locks at Trader Joe's. Sponsored ah. by Whole Foods. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd probably marry locks the lakes... Because they are lovely. Wait, didn't Wait, you just you say you were gonna marry you, the? No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You, you I'm sorry. Damn crosser. Mormon! I fucked up. You damn Mormon! I marry all three, and now I'm closer I'm to God. Cheating. That's that's unfair. Not all Mormons are polygamists. Man, hold on. Maybe I fucked up. 
Maybe I'm going to fuck Lox the food. Because you love it so much and it's oh, fatty and you don't get it very often and geezy. you want it just like a one-off. Yeah. Geezy, one geezy. greasy I'll get one-off. like an expensive one. Fuck it. And then eat it. <laughs> oh, wow. We and lost then I'll the marry trip. I'll marry the lakes because it's a lovely time and I probably won't oh, get sick of it. Interesting. And then I'll kill Lox the pad because I don't need that kind of fucking negativity in my yeah. life. Good, good luck keeping your items secure ever again. Right? Yeah, and you'll you'll want those securities when you'll you're come back. when you're on the moors. <laughs> oh, I oh the moors. The right. children of the moors got sticky fingers. The monster will <laughs> get you. Ooh, it'll break in your house and you'll touch all your silverwares. <laughs> Pudgy fingers all over your silver. You stick his clammy fins in your your gentle underpants, <laughs> and you and you blow. you won't like it. <laughs> Yeah, won't like it. And they'll, <laughs> and they'll forever make it smell like you're English. <laughs> oh. So I basically, I hit same as him. Um, <laughs> the, the difference being, uh, I would marry the locks uh, because I kind of want to be like the creepy weirdo in like the, um, Wait, the, the which flat cap. locks? Which oh, locks? I would marry the, I would marry the, the bodies of water. Okay. Because like I would stay on the misty, misty shores of the locks and I'd have like a flat cap, and I'd say cryptic weird things yeah. to, to travelers and passerby. With a lantern in your hand. And yeah, and I'd carry a lantern, and I'd have a, a dog with very mournful eyes, just and a basset hound that's just might or, be dead or whatever. <laughs> yeah, just like the dog that will haunt your nightmares, and uh, yeah, just say a thing that ruined your day, maybe the rest of your life. Um, and I would fuck locks the fish, cause yummy, yummy in my tummy, and maybe on my dick. <laughs> um, and I'd kill locks because, uh, you, every, everybody should own everything. Property is stupid. <laughs> Dane, to you. Dane, to you. <laughs> Would you say that your mascot is, uh, Gruffield? Is that what you're saying? Sure. Gru- Gruffield, I love him. Gruffield. Er, Gruffield. Gruffield is the best. Uh, <laughs> I love Gruffield without Gruffield. You're misconstruing. It's very meta. Um. <laughs> okay. I'm going to kill the fish. Kill oh. the fish. Because I'm not a big fishy flavor guy. Oh. Fishman. Um, I feel that the flavor of lox overpowers the bagel. And I prefer the flavor of bagel and cream cheese over oh. that of smoky lox. I'm just telling it like it is, okay? Oh, my word. You give me some yellowtail tuna, I'll eat the hell out of it. You give me some cod deep fried in batter. Cod blocks. Mm, love it. I'm but... afraid I got a cod block you, Dane. Oh! Lox is pretty good. Anyway. But lox, I could do without killing it. Um, I am going to be marrying the lakes. Lox. Hey. Okay. Uh, because... Yeah. I feel that... It would be connect to my ancestry in a way, which is nice, uh, because I'm both uh, Scottish and Irish. <laughs> what? <laughs> sure, yeah, I am. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Brian just fucking made a look for no reason. I, I it was Brian's I, so skeptical of I, my, uh, my heritage. I for I'm, whatever reason. I don't. I don't know what happened. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> just. It was, just, it was a silence and you reacted. My, I I think you're a lying motherfucker. Man. That's what I think. What do you want? You want me to lie about it? You want me to lie? You got it. Um, I yeah, I would. I I think there's something very romantic about being married to like the land and and the water and and just like being committed to this place and it's kind of spiritual and, and you stick your know. dick in the ground and then i stick Occasion. my dick in a muddy hole and just plow into it yeah you're planting I mean, my seed. job done <laughs> Ooh, what if the mystical energies of the druids <laughs> oh, no. made my cum turn into a baby oh, no. and then oh, it's like a oh, like no. some what? sort of like <laughs> lock oh, like a dryad spirit. baby yeah, a dryad oh, god That'd be great, like and with a big like, fiery beard. It'd this... come out and it'd be like, Papa, I am part tree, part fire. <laughs> this actually sounds like some fucking folklore. Yeah, so I think that'd be pretty great. Remember, and marry the, the, remember land. The, the old folk tale about the man who fucked the dirt? <laughs> <laughs> he, he made did... a dirt baby. <laughs> he made weird, creepy lock babies. And they live over there. 
<laughs> that's far away from the that's you heard it, from you, the alpha. You heard it here first. The McGregor's are weird lock fuck babies. <laughs> Don't trust them. <laughs> They'll never grow up. <laughs> we keep them in that castle because there's so many castles around here. We're just lousy with castles. And for some reason, we talk like this instead of like Scotsmen. Stick them weird lock babies in the castle. That's what we do. Stick oh, them you're... away in the dungeons. You're going that way, eh? <laughs> Nobody goes that way. It's a rock yeah. lobster. <laughs> here at the lock. <laughs> <laughs> sound of the narwhal uh, and then I would fuck the shit out of a lock because I'm a hardcore BDSM motherfucker Whoa. I mean I, I don't want know Chelsea nothing. I hope you're not still listening to this <laughs> I don't I don't think she knows how podcasts work <laughs> so God. that's fine um no I I mean <laughs> I need to be uh I need me to lock, lock down and and just really treated with uh precision and, and no that's the thing right like you're like you're like fucking it but it's unlocked and then you lock it <laughs> <laughs> click 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 ow click, ow, ow what's ooh, the combo ow. oh it's a key oh i fucked up that's that's some coxmanship if you can pick a lock I get with it. your with your penis with your dick um yeah so that's uh that's how i roll guys Got him. Because what's, what's a vagina really but a lock? A flesh lock. A flesh lock. Pick it. Blow into it. Cure cancer. <laughs> Fight for the future. Fight for the future. Oh, I was thinking of that too. Oh. Too much loud laughter in this episode. I was laughing. No, that's not the true. I was laughing away from my mic. Yeah, I was trying to like fucking also. chocolate rain guy. Mm. <laughs> Dane, if this last one's serious, I'm fucking quitting the podcast. <laughs> well then, get ready to sign your rights again. Oh, no. You gotta finish the fight. Oh, no. You gotta finish the fight. Oh no! no. You gotta finish the fight. No, what is it? That was water. <laughs> if you hear that in the back. Splash, splash, splash. <laughs> splash, splash. Daniel in San Diego asks, Would you rather catch a hot dog or throw a pineapple? <laughs> he didn't. I don't have to quit. Well, as, as, as a wise man once told me, them hot dogs be greasy. I've heard that before. I've heard that said before. Wait, it's throw, throw a pineapple? Or catch a hot dog? Catch a hot dog. How do you catch it? What do you got to catch with your it with? hands. Only? Wait, yeah. don't put What chain, if I want some fucking trick shots? Don't put chains on my creativity. What if that, what if that, Listen. What if that hot dog has an incurable tumor? And the old way. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking carrot. Blow on that hot dog, brother. You got to blow on that you gotta hot dog. You got to catch it with your you vagina, got, hon. You got to blow on that hot the dog. The hot dog's going to die. You got to blow, blow on the hot dog. It's the only way. The only way to be sure you got blown a hot dog. <laughs> you got blown. Or you have a pineapple and you throw you it. Just chuck it, chuck you it just away. Chuck it away. The, as a wise man once said, the, the problem with having a, a pineapple is the world around you. You solve every problem. Every problem looks like a thing you hit with a pineapple. <laughs> you know. Are you done over there? You know you what? Finished? You know. You know that saying. How are you feeling? You know that wise old saying? Oh, you're, you're still going with the, it. The okay. vapors are getting you, know, you. Do you know it? So one time, let me tell you a pineapple really I don't story. know if Brian's done with his, though, yet. I think I'm done. Okay, All right. Good. Yeah, yeah. So one time at a, at, a, at a Magic the Gathering convention, basically. Oh, that sounds nerdy I'm, I'm, as hell. A Magic the Gathering gathering. That I, that I was a part of, yeah. <laughs> nice that's the one. Uh, there, was, there was some kid, some adult kid, who had... <laughs> uh, a child who just happened to be 45. <laughs> You know. They've been known to exist. Uh, he was walking around. He was like 18 or something. He was walking around uh, the convention hall with a pineapple that he had put sunglasses on. And it was hilarious for no real good reason. Yeah. He was just walking around with this fucking cool pineapple. <laughs> and like at one point, and I, and I talked to him about it because I was like, well, that's funny. And he was like, yeah, this is my, he, he like named it or something. He's like, yeah, this is whatever, Freddy or fuck, I don't know. Um. And then, Senor Pina. and then later in the day, over the intercom system, or the PA system, uh, of the convention hall, I hear the following announcement, uh, 
<laughs> there is a lost pineapple <laughs> in the convention hall. If anyone sees <laughs> a pineapple, <laughs> please, please come to the front desk or whatever. He's and, not just a pineapple, he's a good friend. And then later I saw that he'd been reunited with the pineapple. Oh, that's oh. nice. And it was a Dude, fucking heartfelt ending. moment. I don't think I could throw that pineapple. No, not that one. I couldn't throw that one. Or anyone. It's like if you, mm. you take f- care of a pig <laughs> and then you're like, I can't eat pork, pork no more. Nope. I've raised this pig. Yeah. I, I was talking with a friend of mine about that, actually. How, how cute pigs can be. It makes it hard to nom on some But pork. not that hard. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, it's tasty enough. It's hard. Um, yeah, yeah. It struggles. The here. guy carrying around the pineapple reminds me of the uh, monkey banana kids that we talked about. Like, oh yeah. So random. Mm. Anyway, um. <laughs> so I think uh, I think that another d- dimension of this is that um, to catch the hot dog is more receptive. I was about it's to more, go into that. Yes, yeah, please more, more elaborate. Sort of, yeah, sort of like oh, yeah, yeah, like sort of uh, passive. You, you're reacting. Mm-hmm. Whereas if you're throwing the pineapple, you're you're taking the active principle. You're 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 acting. You're being aggressive. That's true. You are you are causing change in the world. You're expelling. You're expelling. Yes. You're destroying. Maybe destroying, destroying, but maybe you need to destroy to create. Ah, so perhaps through this process of destruction, you are making new. Yeah, and maybe the person you're throwing it at has it coming. And maybe the person you're throwing it at um, has been making fun of how much you like pineapples for the last year. Greg. Greg. You decide to get the pokiest hardest motherfucker that you can find in the grocery store yeah. and just and just follow Greg and you just fucking go behind him and you throw it at him and you throw it in the back of his head. They grow them big in Petaluma, Greg! They grow them big in Petaluma! They grow from the ground. They do. Petaluma. You only get <laughs> known Known for its pineapples. <laughs> Petaluma pineapple. Petaluma pineapple farm. I didn't say what where that is, this Petaluma is. It's in California. It's very important. <laughs> Petaluma, no. Hawaii. Pine- pineapples <laughs> sure. do only grow one per bush, which I just would, like artichokes. I found that to be no. They, they grow stocks. one per fucking thing. Stock. Yeah. But you can have like a number of stocks coming up. I'm talking like this giant bush makes one pineapple. And it's silly looking. And it's too. right there in the middle, like sitting there like a like a I love Pigeon on a pedestal. That, I love people that were like the first to, to eat a thing, you know? Well, they're I'm like, sure they were much smaller back then, too. But yeah, they're like, ooh, what's this ooh, little what's this nodule? What's fucking butt? I'm going to fucking grab this spiky fucking little boy. I'm nom 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 nom. <laughs> this is very sour. But I bet in a hundred years it'll be sweet. Yeah, it does look kind of like a pigeon on a pedestal. I told you. I guess, um, I don't know. I feel like it might. we might have talked about this thing on a previous podcast. But like, I'm just going to say it again. Uh, I guess bananas, uh, are don't, an herb. they don't take, well, yes, they, bananas are a berry technically cause they don't grow on a, on a proper tree, but, um, they grow on whatever, but, um, but that's not it. I guess the bananas of, of today, and I don't know how true this is, but this is what I heard. Uh, the bananas that we have today are a different strain of bananas because the old bananas like died out because of like whatever there's like funguses that like are affecting the oh, banana wow. trees and i guess that kind of a thing is happening now again um because so we bananas, only have one kind of banana yeah well like, like that we get sort of shipped here like i guess right um like there's a, there's a there's a, a fungus sort of that's just attacking the trees and it can't really be stopped so they're thinking that bananas as we know it might go extinct and that we're gonna have to like Come engineer up a new... different kind of banana but if you've uh. ever had like a banana flavored thing, yeah, like candy or something, apparently, what I understand, that's the is that flavor. that's how bananas used to taste. Oh, disgusting! Is like like a like a really sweet like. I kind of love that artificial banana. Flavor. Do you? Yeah, like I also really love artificial watermelon. <coughs> like, yeah, you know, watermelon's pretty good. I don't. Yeah. Uh, so I don't Jolly really... Ranchers. I'm only taking this off of Jolly Ranchers. Not that I've had a Jolly Rancher banana flavored. I would love that. One time. Brian made watermelon fudge, and he says he made it wrong, but I really like yeah, it a it lot. Really and I, wish, <laughs> I wish he would do it again. Yeah, we all love that. Sh- I'm leaning in very close to the mic and staring at Brian <laughs> intently. 
I could not make that happen. I got a lot of that watermelon. You, yeah, you, I can't imagine you've used that watermelon extract since in the last three years. Ah. Um, <laughs> so the 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 same thing happened with the potato crops. Oh yeah. In my family's heritage land of Ireland, Ireland, Brian, Briarland, Judgy Judger Pants, Judgy Jason. Yeah, don't. Yeah, you look away in shame. Go ahead, look away. I'm Irish and proud. 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 I'm pretty proud. (laughs) Not that proud. Um, And they survived. And we stopped potatoes. So, fuck bananas. But we're talking about pineapples and hot dogs. It's a question about pineapples and hot dogs. (laughs) Pineapples and hot dogs, for Jesus' sake. What if a hot dog tasted like everything? What? Like an everlasting, like a like a like everlasting a, gobstopper like an ever- of not, meat. Not an everlasting gobstopper. I said I started saying that, but that was wrong. Like a wasn't there something in that movie though that just tasted like you know, it was the gum? No, yeah, every flavor gum. There was, there was a whole meal. I well, so I've I've gotten no. this wrong because that's what I meant, but I actually meant Bernie Blotz every favorite beans. Jesus Christ! I, fu- I fucked it all up. It's so all the, over. The, so the everlasting gobstopper from the film yeah. did change flavors. Did it really? It did. Yeah, yeah. and oh. it lasted forever. Yeah, I didn't know it changed flavors. Just to anything? Well, you couldn't like will it to do it, but no. like yeah, as you sucked on it, it changed flavors. There's many different colors as well. It also looked. Quite I thought it just tasted like a candy sell. thing, but it would never go away. I didn't know it changed flavors. The gum yeah. changed flavors. <clears throat> well, the gum was like meal gum. Yeah. So, like, there were different, like, m- several course meals. You can feel the soup pouring down my throat. That's how that's gum the, works. That's not soup, Wink. Um, and now oh. blueberry pie. It's a hot dog. That's not a problem. pie, Wink. <laughs> I've got a wink for a daughter. <laughs> <laughs> um, that didn't make any sense. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I like pineapples more than I like hot dogs. Um, I would be getting a hot dog in this That's situation. Another good point. But just gaining versus losing. But whoever said that you couldn't recover the chunks of pineapple after you've thrown it? Also, That's you don't have to true. throw it that hard. You don't even have to. throw You can just it that sort hard. of give it a little soft lob a onto a, onto an awaiting pillow. I feel like that throwing implies shame. overhead that action. No, you can underhand throw. That's a toss. Throw, throws in the title. That's a toss. Is yeah, it? I mean, I th- that feels kind of like cheating. Like I, to me, yeah, throwing yeah, it cheater, is like Jimmy throwing, cheater. Like giving it a yeah, good yeah, throw, it. a good ta- good throw. No, wait, wait, <laughs> wait. <laughs> good full arm throw. Throw you throw a frisbee. You throw up. Yeah. What if I throw up a pineapple? Does that count? I think you, you would die. Yeah. I wouldn't choose that one. Yeah, I wouldn't either. Yeah, that'd be bad. Good thing we're not choosing that one. Yeah. Um, hot dogs. Hot dogs. You're, you're catching a hot dog all day long? And I get to eat a hot dog. I like hot dogs. I like a hot dog. I probably, unfortunately, like hot dogs more than pineapple, even though that's the incorrect choice. <laughs> Health-wise. What about... Now, this is, a, this is a naked dog, Jim. This is non-dressed dog. Yeah. That's... Oh! Uh oh, I've made the wrong choice. Oh, Too bad I've you already been, made it. I've been misassuming. Oh, I've been assuming. Oh god. <laughs> it's a it's fully also, loaded dog. It's also kind of bad because like either it's either it's piping hot, which is the temperature you want it at to eat, but it might burn you, or <laughs> or it's cold, which is the wrong temperature for eating. I don't know. I've eaten plenty. Why do I have to eat it immediately, though? Wait, wait, what? Yeah, but I mean, like, do you want to, like, I don't know. I gotta go find a bun. But if I'm catching it in a bun... Oh, yeah. That is there's nothing in the rule book that says you, you can't use a bun to catch it. You looked so wise when you said it. I, what? So it's <laughs> it's cutting out the middleman of me putting it in. And a And maybe I'm throwing the pineapple into a blender. <laughs> yes. To make yes! Some, make some yummy pina coladas. Yes. <laughs> I well, love. I it. like pina coladas and getting caught in the rain. I want uh, coconut on everything. Just by the way, not my not my. What hot about dogs. your hot dog? <laughs> no, you put it on your hot dog. I know. I just literally said. Put it everything. on your hot dog. Okay. Put it. Put it. Put it on the pizza. <laughs> what if nacho cheese was there? Yeah. What if nacho <laughs> cheese? Let's really talk about it. Let's drill down. Maybe some fried what chicken. What if nacho cheese? <laughs> Big question to finish on. What, what if, if nacho cheese? Nacho cheese. What if nacho cheese? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm picking the pineapple. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm I fucked going, up. Pine, I'm going pineapple. Me too. So 
thank you everyone for joining us here in the proud jacuzzi crew on this balmy ass autumn evening of weirdness and hijinks uh, uh, if you can send us some would you rathers, we'd really appreciate it. Send it to the PJCcast uh, at gmail.com. Tweet us at the PJCcast. Um, like us on Facebook. Uh, find us on Podbean. Find us on iTunes. Give us a review. Why not? Sure. Fuck um, it. This is your favorite episode, right? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Go to my Facebook page and. This is and, the one that changed everything. <laughs> Go to my Facebook page and watch our live feed of the beginning of this episode. That yeah. maybe we'll share with it somehow. <laughs> with, on, on the PJC Yeah, we could probably site. do that, right? Probably. probably. That, not, maybe we'll likely. crack a book on marketing. Maybe we'll do it right one of these hey. days. Hey, let's not go too far. Let's Man, not be throwing that pineapple too we soon. We didn't discuss that we were live streaming the first 15 minutes on the episode uh, at, at all. all. That might be a fun first step to do next time, too. Maybe discussing it. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Who knows what we'll do? Um, Who can fucking say? <laughs> it's a fucking wild world out here. <laughs> I'm the Dread Pirate Dane. Oh, shit. Dane. <laughs> okay. Let's cut that out. I I am the, the meek schoolgirl Brian Warlock. I, I'm the ghost pirate LeChuck. <laughs> I hope Senpai notices me. Sen, senpai being the ghost pirate you know, LeChuck. You know, you know, Brian, I think you will. I think you will. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for coming can, over. And then, and then you can cure his cancer. <laughs> oh. Fuck! Oh. I don't even want to cure his stupid cancer. <laughs> everybody, have a good night and get home safe. <laughs> good night. <laughs>close the book on that one <laughs> but seriously the facebook what if, what if nacho cheese what if nacho cheese <laughs> what if nacho cheese guys i don't i don't know what happened no, but what if nacho cheese i don't know what happened either i, I but was, was thinking about a time when i fucking grossed out a guy by eating every Every piece of, like, a Denny's breakfast with some nacho cheese. Uh, and then he was like, well, so, well, let me clarify. Let's let's get deeper into this. Well, so, like, sure. there was, like, five, there was, like, hash browns, eggs, like, the, the, the ham and the sausage and... Toast. The toast. And I Probably just took a, I took a bite, a singular bite of each of those things... Covered in nacho cheese, or it might have been ranch, which ruins the whole story. Oh. To be fair. Jesus. What if ranch, um, though? But he was really grossed out, and I thought that that... He was, like, angry. And I was like, that's a fucking stupid thing to get upset about. But I'm doing a thing. Yeah. But, but I got halfway through thinking about that story. And then I said, what if nacho cheese? Realized it was stupid. Jimmy. <laughs> and then fucking full stop. Jimmy, your, your brain right now is something to be Oh, man. You're, you, you stopped listening at least three or four times throughout the podcast and just went into your own little world. I got excited about I think making he... music. I think he a beautiful minded it. I kind of did. Oh yeah. He kind of did. I think it I fucking straight up stopped listening. But <laughs> not just that time, Jim. You did it like several times. <laughs> what was You're like, wait, time? wait, wait, what are you talking about? I forgot. When? <laughs> I mean You'll listen to it and you'll find out. Defi- no. Definitely the cheese, definitely <laughs> the music thing. I don't know if there was another time. No, there time. was a time before that too. There was a time there was a time before. <laughs>